Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on April 5th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We just had a 5.3 in Santa Cruz, California, the island of Santa Cruz, and that was following a 2.7 and another 2.8. We're also going to go around the world here at 5.0 in the Caribbean. These are all most recent, the last six hours, 5.2 in China. And of course, this 5.3 in California. Around the world we go and show you the Southern Hemisphere. And this is the last uh, two days now, the last 48 hours for earthquakes around the world. You can see it's been very active. 5.0 in the Indian Ridge, uh, South Atlantic Ridge as well. A lot of earthquakes in the Caribbean and a lot of earthquakes in the United States. We've had uh, increasing tremors throughout the week, so we're expecting something. And uh, 5.3, there we go. That happened earlier this afternoon. Just give you a quick show around the world. This is the last 72 hours now for earthquakes. Stay aware and prepared. These are some, this is a lot of earthquakes and pretty sizable ones. Yeah, now we're just gonna go over to weather. And this video here was sent in from a subscriber of mine in Beijing. Thank you, Stephen, for this video of snow falling in Beijing and of course the blooming cherry trees throughout Beijing because yeah winter is not over across the northern hemisphere we've still got cold temps high pressure polar vortexes and snow lots of it and for the next four days here in Alberta, it will be cold and windy and be bringing some snow from this large low pressure system coming off the Pacific, probably about five to 10 centimeters by Monday. And as it sweeps across the United States, those temperatures are still hanging out very cold and not increasing until the end of the week. Some meteorologists here in Calgary are saying that the snow is over for the season, but that's ridiculous because there's no way that the snow is over for the season. You can see here, even down to Virginia State, minus three, minus four degrees Celsius. Cold temps, man. Hashtag grand solar minimum. That's right, a lot of people, a lot of scientists, meteorologists around the world are talking about this. And you can see the intense uh, cold front moving in across the United States, and that will bring a lot of severe thunderstorm action and possible tornadoes. And again, this large low pressure center takes the same track as all the other ones did right up the east coast and then to the Hudson's Bay and now just overlooking Europe and Russia you can see these cold temps still sticking around all the blue it's cold temperatures we're just gonna zoom in here to Beijing where Steve is where he sent me that video and looks like he's got clear skies now but still Pretty cool temperatures. And then over the east coast of Australia, or sorry, west coast, uh, tropical cyclone Josie is bringing this large atmospheric river straight across the equator. You can see the intense rainfall Vanuatu, in Indonesian islands, Fiji. It's a lot of rain. 
very large, dominant, high velocity, low pressure systems. That's what's happened. Everything is increased tenfold, high pressure and low pressure. Intensification of precipitation. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye.